all going to read and believe what the word says. It says, does not the potter, God, the potter, have power over the clay, the flesh, from the same lump to make one vessel of honor and another for dishonor? What if God, the potter, God, right, wanting to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with long with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath prepared to be lost for destruction. What is destruction? When Christ died, what happened to the devil? That he destroyed him. So when a vessel that comes from Cain dies, he's destroyed. There's no more memory of him. But look at what it says here. And that he might make known, that he make known, make Notice the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he has prepared beforehand for glory. Even us whom he called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. In other words, Jews and Gentiles whom are vessels of mercy, those vessels of mercy cannot walk in fear. Now, the vessels of wrath, they can walk however they wish because they're, it doesn't matter how they dress, they're not going. Though they can, listen, the vessels of wrath, pay close attention because the vessels of wrath are always afraid and he that has fear, it's a hypocrite. Show you that in a few minutes. Fear produces hypocrisy. Fear breeds hypocrisy, falsehood, an image that not real. Here, those vessels don't fit. Their churches are full of that. But here, since I explained this, they say, wait a minute. I'm one of those. I'm out of here. The wolves here, they don't fit in our church. There they do because there they prohibit it. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't go to the beach. Behave. The devil is watching you. God is going to, well, under fear, they function. So then, though they become members of the most beautiful church in Miami, they can dress in white. And the Lord says, don't get dressed because you're not coming along. <laughs> you want me to prove it biblically? Romans 9 11. Let's look. I receive you understand. I'm giving you a free class. This class is worth about $2,000 per minute. This has never been said in history. Look at what 9-11 says. Listen, 9-11, be careful. <laughs> that is consolation for those of 9-11. Because there... In that collapse of the towers, sheep and wolves went down. So look at what it says. For the children not yet being born, nor having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to predestination election may stand or might stand, not of works, but of him who calls. Listen, it's that when God calls, though, you misbehave. If you are a vessel of salvation, you're going to heaven. You may arrive there lame, without an arm, without a cent in your pocket, burnt. In an accident you had for drinking a lot of liquor and you had a crash. Or the lungs for smoking a lot of cigarettes. And it says, now we have received not the spirit of the world, which is the spirit of the world, the spirit of fear that the vessels of wrath possess. You're not a vessel of wrath. Is there a vessel of wrath here? And if there is, there's no way to know because you don't have a trademark marked in your forehead. I am a vessel of wrath. I am not chosen. You have, to, you have to deal with everyone as a vessel of mercy, even though they misbehave. Even though they misbehave. 